everyone. My name is Mr. Positive. Um, if you found this video and you're like, what is it? Well, let me quickly explain. I do videos Monday through Sunday, anywhere from 10 minutes to 20 minutes long, and of some kind of religious content. Currently, we are reading through a book called New Morning Mercies, a daily gospel devotional, and the author's name, of course, is Paul David Tripp, um, as you can see on the screen here. Um, that's my passion, and that's what I like to do, and some of you enjoy it, and some of you give a comment or two, and that really pleases me. So if you're new to this channel and you're wondering what it is, and um, you want to give it a try, take a listen and see what you think. In the meantime, let's get started. February 24th. Admit it, we're all still a bit of a mess. That's why we need God's grace today as much as we needed it the first day we believed. You and I need to say to ourselves again and again, we need to look into the mirror and make the confession as part of our morning routine. Here's what we all need to say. I'm not a grace graduate. It is so tempting to mount arguments for your own righteousness. That really wasn't lust. I'm just a man who enjoys beauty. That really wasn't gossip. It was just a very detailed, very personal prayer we request. I wasn't angry at my kids. I was just acting as one of God's prophets. Thus says the Lord. I'm not on an ugly quest for personal power. No, I'm just exercising God-given leadership gifts. I'm not cold-hearted and stingy. I'm just trying to be a good steward of what God's, what God has given me. I wasn't being proud. I was, I just thought someone needed to take control of the conversation. It wasn't a really, it wasn't really a lie. It was just a different way of recounting the facts. We all need to want, we all tend to want to think we are more righteous than we actually are. We don't like to think of ourselves as still desperately in need of God's rescuing grace. And we surely don't want to face the facts that what we need to be rescued from is us. When you argue for yourself your own righteousness, working hard to deny the empirical evidence of your sin, then you fail to seek the amazing grace that is your only hope. Grace is only ever attractive to sinners. The riches of God's goodness are only ever sought to be poor. The spiritual healing of the great physician, physician is only ever esteemed by those who acknowledge that they still suffer from spiritual disease of sin. It's a tragedy when we praise God for His grace on Sunday and deny our need for that grace the rest of the week. Face the fact today that, you're, that you'll never outgrow your need for grace, no matter how much you learn and how much you mature, until you are on the other side and, you are, and your struggle is over because sin is no more. See Philippians 3, 12 through 16. The only way to begin to celebrate the grace of God so freely gives you every day is by admitting how much you need it. All right. The, uh, there's a little extra in the book. It says, for further study and encouragement, we're going to read Psalms 32. All right, let's get right there. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man who, to whom the Lord does not impute in iniquity, and in the and whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My Vitality was turned into the drought of the summer. I acknowledge my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause, everyone who is godly shall pray to you, 
in a time when you may be found. Surely in a flood of great waters they shall not come near him. You are my hidden place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with a bit and a bridle, else they will not come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy, Lord's mercy shall surround himself. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice your righteousness and shout for joy all your all your upright at heart. Okay, there is a uh, description in this particular Bible that you see on the screen um, and in it there's a word for teach. So we're going to read that. So 32.8, it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. So the description, uh, according to this particular Bible, says teach, to instruct, direct, teach, to point, shoot, aim, throw, cast in a straight manner. The primary meaning of yara is to shoot straight or to direct the flow of something. Hence, a de derivative of yara is yora. Rain, mora, is another derivative and means teacher one who is who aims and throws his directives in a straight way one who points out the truth the most important bible word delivered from you Nura, is torah which refers to the law although torah is often translated as law its meaning is instruction. Teaching the law of Moses is actually the instruction Moses received from God for Israel. All right, let's see if we have any more things we can learn from Psalm 32, according to this Bible. What I love about this Bible is it gives so much richness and I just love it. Um, so here we go. Uh, Psalm 32, 1, 2. The Apostle Paul used the verses to describe the happy state of a man, of the man whose sin is forgiven by the grace of God, not by struggling to keep his keep the works of the law. Romans 4, 6 through 8. Transgression means rebellion. Sin is missing the mark. Inequity is moral depravity, and there is also deceit. Sin, sins are forgiven, literally lifted away, covered and not imputed, literally erased from the record, so that the spirit of man is totally righteous in, in God's eye. 32.3 Groaning, complaining, and Instead of confessing results in physical and emotional repercussions. 32.6. When you may be found, that is, while God's Spirit is prompting man's spirit to be re responsive, otherwise God's Holy Spirit is eventually pushed away by man's sinfulness. I want to thank you very much for being a part of today's message. Wow. What can I say? It is beautiful. It was a great reminder of our sins and um, just acknowledging that we're no better than anyone else. It's a very, very special, uh, very, very special um, reading today, and I really enjoyed it. What I got out of it is exactly that I'm no better than anyone else. I have to try to understand that, try to dive into it, try to receive what God is trying to give to me. Um, that does not mean that I hide under a table. It doesn't mean that I don't defend my friends. It doesn't mean that um, I stay quiet. 
quiet. Um, I believe that God is okay with me sharing that people need to be held accountable. There is so much hate in the world right now. Um, Let's see here. Uh, and I and it really sickens me and it's really sad there is there are people who are flip floppers there are people who say one thing and argue another uh, and I'm talking about my YouTube channel the not, uh, not my YouTube channel but the YouTube community that I'm a part of um Again, people who are flip-floppers, people who are say one thing and, and do totally the opposite. Um, there are people who truly aren't living a good Christian life. Um, even if they're not Christian, they're still not morally living a good life. And that's very sad. Um, uh, they want to go after creators who are trying their best to turn their life around and they hate it they hate that people are calm I'm going to be calm other creators that I've been watching are just calm and they don't get into the fight they just point out um, faults that people have they catch people in lies and um, you know I think that's important we need to bring to light those who lie and through that it's not about picking on them necessarily at least not for me it's about showing them as if they're looking in the mirror and saying I'm a sinner and I need to repent and I need to relax and I need to stop and I need to do better um yeah and those people that we need to pray for constantly are Ash274, Sarah Indipity, TNT, Mandy Lynn. Those are on my list today. Those are on heavy on my prayers tonight when I go to bed. And because I'm a part of this community, I'm okay with saying those names because I think we all collectively need to be praying for them. What issues they have is um, not necessarily needing to point out bullet by bu- bullet point to bullet point. But those things that I did mention definitely need to be prayed for and that they turn a, turn a different cheek or if they are not a religious person, they need to understand the hate that they're a part of. They need to understand the gossip that they're a part of. They need to understand the flip-flopping that they're a part of. And um, it's just sad. So I am definitely going to be praying for these ladies. They deserve lots of prayer and hope that they understand that what they're going through and what they're doing can be harmful if they keep it up. I know my videos are now controversial, but I stick to my guns and I stick to prayer. And I believe that God wants me to pray heavily for those who need it. I'm not ashamed to share with everyone that these individuals definitely need prayer. So thank you very much for listening today. If you are a new subscriber and or returning subscriber, thank you very much. Please make sure that you hit the uh, subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, If you have not hit the like button on this video, um, please do so in consideration of me. Um, Also, the last thing, if you are so inclined and you like what you hear, um, even in its controversial type way, please hit the notification bell. That way uh, my videos can definitely come back to your inbox or however you get notified that I post a video. Um, And I thank you very much. All three of those things will help me grow my channel 
with those who wish to listen. Not everybody's going to be a fan, but for those who wish to listen, um, doing all those three things will help my channel grow. So thank you very much. And lastly, I'd like to always say that I know that Jesus Christ died on the cross for my sins. And because I know that, it is such a powerful love that, uh, that God would do that for us that it's overwhelming love. And because of that, I'm instructed to love each and every single one of you guys. Doesn't matter your doesn't matter your religious beliefs, doesn't matter if you are currently in sin willingly, doesn't matter if you are in sin unwillingly or unknowingly, um, or if you're a good Christian. I am here to love each and every single one of you guys. No ifs, ands, or buts. Until then, or until next time, or I have to look at my down at my screen here. Until next time, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye now.